All right, we have some knife cut that we're gonna replace. This is knife cut, not solid pipe. We're gonna cut this out and we're gonna show you what happened. You never want to use knife cut this close to the house. It didn't have a sock on it. That was another problem. So everybody always says, why can't you run knife cut? Well, look at that. The knife cut just filled up with dirt because there was no sock on it. You can see the perforations. So somebody, actually, this ain't even knife cut. This is regular perf pipe. This is perforated pipe. You can see how it has material ground out. Never use perforated pipe for a downspout. That's why you don't use perforated pipe for a downspout right there. Just filled up with dirt. Yeah, it's just plugged solid with dirt. The whole thing's just plugged solid with dirt. So none of that water can come down the downspout anymore. These gutter troughs were just overflowing. You end up with a bunch of water right by the foundation of the house. So this homeowner had to do brand new sidewalks and a brand new patio because somebody ran perforated pipe for their downspouts, all the downspout water was underneath the old patio. It washed it out, it caused cracking, settling. In the winter time, excessive expansion. So there's a brand new patio. This didn't have to happen this way. But the reason why he had to do a new patio was because all his downspouts were ran in perforated pipe. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.